Hi, Mitch Wenger back with another video on data analytics and machine learning. In this video, we'll discuss the importance of text in data science. Hope you enjoy. Okay, let's get started. Text is all around us. We deal with it continually in our lives, whether we're on our phones, on our computers, or even at the doctor's office. Because it can be difficult to capture everything in a numeric or categorical field, a lot of information is still captured and coded as text. Companies have found that gaining a better understanding of what their customers and the general public are saying about them helps them create additional value. We're finding that to be true in our profession as well and use a variety of text sources from management, customers, and others that help us when considering things such as valuations and assertions, for example. In order to understand text, however, it needs to be converted into a form that's compatible with our tools. We consider text to be what we call unstructured data. Of course, text typically does have structure, although it's linguistic structure. But that's not the type of structure we typically consider for data mining activities. If you think of the data sets you typically come across in a business setting, you see a set of data fields with standard meanings, transaction date, account code, currency code, company ID, etc. These feature vectors are similar from instance to instance in our data set, and we can create links or joins between tables based on common keys. Now in text analytics, things are quite a bit different. Words can vary in length. Different documents are going to contain different numbers of words and even different combinations of words. In some instances, word order matters. Then again, in some instances, it may not. So we consider this type of data to be dirty data, which means it doesn't come to us in a neat, ready to process format. Even within a document, you may find spelling errors, poor grammar, odd abbreviations, inconsistent punctuation, synonyms and homographs. For example, bat. Is it a baseball bat or a bat the animal? Letter. Is it a letter in the alphabet or is it a letter that you're mailing to someone? So things such as those add to the complexity of text analysis. Text is, of course, used for communications between people. Many times the people share a profession or some other domain where the meaning of words and phrases may be specific to that profession or specific to that domain and might be different than what you and I might understand in everyday communications. Even different generations use language differently. So it's clear that context is also important in understanding text, as well as understanding the specific words and phrases. As an example, consider this movie review. Is it a good review or a bad review? And then let's think about these specific words from that review. What do they mean? What does the word better mean? What about out of control, overdone, incredible? Because of these considerations, text needs to undergo a good bit of data prep before we feed it into an algorithm. As we add complexity to our representation of text features in our data set, we give ourselves the means to explore more nuances in the text. We'll only touch on some basics as we continue this topic, but these basics should help you understand how text analysis is becoming such an important part of data mining activities today. That's it for this intro to text mining. I hope you found it useful. As always, be sure to check out the other videos in this series.